This video is step two to lesson one, visual self-portrait. In step one, you should have completed your sketch of your visual self-portrait, beginning with your initials in black letters and then filling the page considering composition and balance with as much visual imagery to reflect yourself. Once you have completed the sketch, then you're going to take a black Sharpie marker. If you do not have a black Sharpie marker, regular black marker will do. And you are going to outline your pencil line of your initials first. Now be careful, careful where some imagery may overlap your lettering. You're not gonna wanna draw your black Sharpie line necessarily through the image. You can see here where I've stopped and started through my S depending on where imagery overlapped my S. So you're outlining with black Sharpie your initials. After you have neatly outlined your initials in black, leaving space where imagery overlaps, then you're going to take colored markers and you are going to outline the imagery using colored markers. Skinny markers work best. Um, using the colors of the object that they are. So you can see in my sunflower, the interior of my sunflower is brown. So I'm outlining that shape with brown. Um, and now I'm going in some things like some smaller details like my KU, I went ahead and filled in solid with marker. So some things you could color in solid with marker and other things you're gonna to wanna to consider using colored pencils, crayon or watercolor colored pencils. The reason for that is some things are more interesting when you can blend colors and overlap and create some gradation from light to dark. Um, so consider that incorporating um, colored pencils, crayon, or watercolor pencils uh, to give a more interesting effect. As you color and outline your imagery, be sure to erase your pencil lines to make your composition nice and clean. As you color, remember that neatness is part of your overall grade. So make sure that when using colored pencil or marker that you're coloring in one smooth direction. To check out the grading criteria for this project, go to the 7th and 8th grade Google, 7th and 8th grade art Google Classroom. Under lesson one in the Google slide, you will find the grading criteria. You are coloring everything on your visual self-portrait. So not only are you coloring in the imagery and the objects, but you are also going to be filling in the background. Again, there should be no white space left on your paper except for the objects that are actually white in reality. I hope you enjoyed this project and I look forward to learning more about you and your favorite things through your visual self-portrait.